Welcome back to the Econet Evaporator Controller uh, setup series. Today we'll be discussing how to connect uh, and set up a uh, door switch on the controller. To wire and configure the door switch, uh, the door switch function on the controller, uh, you can take either a, a magnetic door switch to uh, put on the frame of the door to the freezer or a toggle switch. Uh, basically, uh, all we need is a dry contact to our digital input number one. Uh, I already got here uh, a couple of wires on the, on the, on the connector. So, Basically, you got terminals 1A and 1B on the controller, and that's where our door switch goes. Again, dry contact, that's as far as wiring. The other side will be at the, uh, at the actual switch itself uh, at the door. To configure the door switch, uh, you go to the equipment settings. Again, just navigate to settings, equipment, and then hit select, and then scroll all the way down to your door switch configuration. So default is off, of course, so if it's off, the controller is going to ignore uh, the whether it's an open or closed contact. So, and then we can, uh, we can then configure it to either be normally open or normally closed. So of course, normally open uh, means we need a closed contact for cooling, and then normally closed, it means we need an open contact for cooling. So let's configure it to normally open, okay? So now that we got that configured, the next one is a delay, it's optional. So right now we got zero second delay. So the moment that input changes state, uh, our unit is gonna pump down, fans are gonna, are gonna, are gonna turn off. Uh, we can configure an optional delay of 30 seconds, one minute, all the way to five minutes. So let's just do right now for no delay. So basically the moment our input changes state, uh, we pump down. Uh, and then to view the status of the input, uh, navigate to the status submenu and then hit select and then scroll down to your inputs and you're gonna see right there door switch input right now is on so of course if I change the state meaning my door is open then that means our input is off and uh, about it closing or we, we're getting uh, basically a pump down and then while it is off uh, our system is pumped down because the door switch input is inactive. Uh, then we can go also on the service and go to current alarms and you'll see a door open notification alert. Okay, so uh, once the door switch input then uh, is restored, So it's back to on, there's a five second delay, but then the system now was, is allowed to uh, uh, turn back on. Now, with the door switch, there, it still observes the two minute, two minute minimum off, so it's gonna stay pumped down for a minimum of two minutes uh, once it gets there. Uh, but now that it's back on, we go again to the alarms, and now the door open alert is no longer active. So after that two minute minimum, the unit is gonna start cooling again.